Hello guys and welcome back to part number 2 of Lost Campus and Mosquito 2K. Let's go. <laughs> morning. Good morning, miss. He has a serious and formal look and his voice is low and deep. Please take a seat. You can ask your classmates to explain what you missed later. And please don't forget we start class at 10. I'm sorry. <laughs> In the front row, a pretentious looking girl mutters to her friend who laughs. Luckily, I'm not the only one who's noticed as the professor steps up to the girl. Is there anything you would like to share with me or with the rest of the class, Lee? Well, actually, yes, there is Professor Moore. She has a typical pompous and vain rich girl voice. According to the campus rules, if a student shows up more than 15 minutes late, they will not be allowed to enter the classroom out of respect for their classmates. It's unfair to you and the rest of the class that you had to interrupt what was being said just because someone is unable to keep their schedule, right? Or shuttle, I don't know. Oh. I blush from the embarrassment. Thank you, Lee, but I didn't believe it is necessary to be so strict on the first day of class. I'm sure it will not happen again. I knock quickly. Whatever. Very well, let's get back to where we left off. The professor starts again while they go to the only free spot that is left, next to a nerdy looking boy. What a way to start. First a jerk assaults me in the hall and now I look ridiculous in front of the whole class. And who the hell was that boy anyway? Hopefully I'll never see him again. On top of everything. I didn't exactly make friends arriving late at that. And what about the girl in the front row? She seems like the type that doesn't like being wrong. I hope she doesn't have it on for me. For the first time since I sat down, I glanced at the boy next to me. He's still staring at me. Maybe I should say something. I decided the best try to do is try and talk to him. Um, do you mind me sitting here? He seems surprised that I spoke to him. No, it's okay. Uh, yeah, no problem. He moves nervously his chair chair without looking me in the eye. And I swear he has stirred me a little red. I hope you weren't saving it for anyone. Uh, no, I wasn't. I tried to joke, but it only makes him more nervous. From my set, I can see how he uses his pet legs to dry his sweaty palms. So... Have I missed anything interesting? Uh, you don't have to start a small talk if you don't want to. I'll give you my notes anyway, don't worry. What? Someone like you wouldn't normally choose to sit next to me if there was only any other option. You don't want to, uh, try to hide it. I'm used to it. He sounds resigned, but I still try my best to start a conversation. Someone like me? I've never been a popular girl. When I was younger, I was your typical tomboy. I looked awkward and clumsy. I was lucky and my teen years did wonders, but I'm still the same person I was when I was a kid. Uh, um, I... So prepare yourself, because you're stuck with me for the rest of the year. And sitting next to you won't be that bad. At least you're not Lee. He looks at me and smiles. That's true. I'm sorry if uh, I bother you with uh, what I said before. Don't worry, you don't have to apologize, but please tell me I'm not the only one who thinks that she's a bit of a dick. I went to the secretary school with her. Believe me when I tell you that you haven't seen anything yet. Really? So you know her? Unfortunately, yes. Almost all of us went to the secondary school together, so we already know each other very well. Well, I bet she was the type of girl that will break everyone's toys just for the heck of it. <laughs> You're not wrong. It seems that he likes his subject, so I decided to keep going. It must have been quite an experience knowing her for so long. Has anyone ever stood up to her? No, never. People either love her or are terrified of her. The Hudson carrying it in their jeans. She and her brother always end up being the most unpopular, popular, wherever they go. They're the kind of people everyone ends up voting as prom king and queen even if they don't know them. I've never liked those type of people. I'm sure she's just a spoiled daddy's little girl from uptown. He stares at me, serious again. Right? You, you don't know whom you're talking about. You don't know her. She's like, like a snake. She wouldn't hesitate to wreck your life. 
It seems like I've judged her too quickly. If I were you, I wouldn't risk it. My advice: try to stay under the radar if you want your university experience to be pleasant. Thanks for the tip. I'll try not to draw attention to myself then. Good idea. By the way, I'm Darren. Not Darry and never D. Just Darren. As long as you don't get mixed up with any weird stuff, we'll get along just fine. I'm Elias. Nice to meet you, D. It's impossible not to tease him. Fuck you, Ali. Guys, please pay attention. I have important news. Everyone goes quiet. I'm pleased to announce that for the first time ever, Hudson and Hudson will be offering this year's best students a scholarship and a chance to work at their architectural firm. Hearing the news, a nervous murmur spreads throughout the class. This may be my chance to work on my dad's unfinished project. The chattering is getting louder. It seems I'm not the only one who is excited about the idea of getting a scholarship. Silence, please. The teacher's voice prevails over the noise. As you may know, H and H is one of the most important international architectural firms. Having them on your resume could shape your entire professional career. The scholarship they're offering will cover all the chosen students' expenses until they obtain their diploma. Oh, I need to win that scholarship! With the money I saved walking back home, and with that mom gave me, I barely have enough for this year's tuition, let alone next year's. Should I really, really need it? Before I even know what I'm doing, I raise my hand, and the question comes shooting out of my mouth. Excuse me, Professor Muir. What requirements are necessary to apply for the scholarship? That's a good question, Miss. It seems we already have the first candidate. Ah, uh, maybe I've jumped gun. Oh, please. The scholarship is open to all students, but it will not be based on your GPA. In order to choose as fairly as possible, we have decided that interested students have to face different tests throughout the semester, both individually and as a team. <sighs> The student with the best grade will have proven that they have the correct aptitude to become a great architect. Only that way will they be able to join the H and H team. And I warn you, it will not be easy because the standards of the firm are dictated. During the next week, we will explain what the first test is about. Meanwhile, I recommend you prepare to demonstrate your full potential, and of you can be the next H and H member. When Professor Moore finishes his explanation. Chaos rages through the classroom. That scholarship would change the life of whoever wins it, and it was going to be one of us. It's normal that hysteria ensues. I look at the front of the class at the first rows. Well, not everyone is nervous. She isn't. The bell rings as class ends. With all of excitement, time flew by. <laughs> What should I do now? I have had a long day. I think it would be best if I go home now. Let me check if I can actually go back. No, I can't actually. Once you made a choice, you can't go back. So let's just go. <sighs> my phone starts vibrating in my backpack. When I take it out, the name that I least want to see appears on the screen. Nathan. Oh, not you. Not now. I hang up. I'll deal with it later. I pick up my backpack and quickly leave the classroom. The hall is nearly empty, except for one couple talking closely to each other. As I look at them, one of them looks up and recognizes me. <gasps> I try to turn around, but it's too late. Look who we have here. The boy gets greets me from afar, destroying any chances. I had to go in unnoticed. I can't believe it. He's the guy I met in the halls the morning, and now he's walking towards me. And just then, I noticed who he was talking with. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next video. Bye.